Let's write a C program to print multiplication table for user entered number. We will be accomplishing it using functions. If user enters a number 2, our program outputs multiplication table for 2. Here observe the first column numbers which is equal to the user entered number. Okay. So next second column numbers are natural numbers from 1 to 10. So I'll write the for loop initializing count to 1 and iterating this for loop until count is less than or equal to 10 because we need 10 rows of numbers okay now observe the final column which is equal to num into the value present inside count so simple very simple so inside this for loop i'll print out the multiplication table in this format okay that's it i'll take an integer variable called num i'll ask the user to enter a positive number and store it inside the address of integer variable num remember percentage variable name means address of that number so we'll be storing the user entered number inside the address of variable num so i'll introduce new line character both at the start and end i'll display a message that is multiplication table multiplication table for percentage d is so percentage d i'll display the user entered number comma num so if user enters 2 multiplication table for 2 is will be printed so i'll call a function called tables and pass in the user entered number let me define this tables method so our function tables doesn't return anything so i'll write void as its return type so it takes integer type argument so int num this number num will be local to tables variable tables function okay so this uh, user entered number is passed to our tables function so we'll be using it inside this function so i'll initialize one to count and iterate this for loop until count is less than or equal to final number that is 10 and for each iteration of this for loop i'll increment the value of count by one so one to 10 is what we want you can change it if you want different numbers so i'll print in this format now percentage d into percentage d is equal to percentage d so it's present inside the first column is num second column is count the third column the resultant column is num into count that's it this is our program to print multiplication table using function let me cut this out from now we will we'll be using prototype and all properly that's standard way of doing it it's not like we need to do that let's do like this from now because in large programs we need this so here it is ca calling the function this is function definition and at the top it's function prototype let me save this fun um, uh, program first let me compile and run it i'll give five so our program should print multiplication table for five and it's printing yeah it's got now let me give 500 so it will print multiplication table for 500 or any number you input okay so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and please do not forget to share this video with your friends on your whatsapp telegram linkedin Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.